And I recommend anyone with kids to get behind the net because they just can't react fast enough. So the discussions about netting is what's the balance between the entertainment factor versus the safety factor. A man contacted our whistleblower hotline saying his daughter suffered serious injury after getting hit in the face by a puck at the Shields Arena. He says there should be more safety netting around the arena. But as Valley News team's Joshua Pagaro learned from Shields general manager, the solution is not that simple. Jeff Lewis says he was with his family at the Shields Arena sitting at Sensor Ice when a puck came flying into the stands. Right now she can't shut her mouth, so she's on a liquid diet for, it'll be going on th minimum of three months. Lewis says the puck hit his daughter in the mouth, pushing her front teeth back and busting her lips wide open. And it was deflected. Just think if it came over faster, it's going to smack someone really bad. It would have put my daughter's teeth into my my wife's face. Lewis says it was a scary situation and stadium staff did respond quickly. Still, he says the arena could do more to protect onlookers. I just wish that the Shields Arena from the beginning would uh, have put a net completely around. I know people complain about that, but it's better than having your teeth pushed in. Shields Arena tells us they've taken numerous steps over the last few years to protect fans that are sitting in the stands watching a hockey game. But the general manager does say that it's a delicate balance between fan experience and fan safety. We do hear comments on the end seats that the netting's in the way, it makes it tougher to see the puck or it's maybe a distraction. General manager John Crum says they follow the industry standard on fan safety. How you doing boss? And only two people so far this year have been treated by EMT for injuries. We want non-hockey fans to come out, and they are going to view the game, but yet that overall feeling and watching without a net in front of you is a really positive experience for these fans. Crum says the arena takes several precautions, including telling fans before the game and during it to be careful for uncoming pucks. In Fargo, Joshua Piguero, Valley News Live. Shields Arena says it plans to discuss safety measures during the off-season where the topic of netting around the arena is expected to come up. And if you need help uncovering fraud or corruption in your community, call our whistleblower hotline and we'll do our best to get to the bottom of it. 237-6576. You can call and leave your tip and then a member of our investigative team will get on the case and go to work to expose the truth. They've had a